Welcome back to another day on the farm here. Uh, this piece of equipment is what we call our planter. Uh, it's got 16 rows, so we've got 16 individual plant rows, 30 inches apart. It's 40 feet wide. We run it with this track tractor here. Again, the tracks are basically to help with compaction, uh, help if it gets wet, they, it's a little bit better traction. Uh, and also, the ride in the field is smoother. So the tractor and the rider actually, even though we have air ride seats, it's actually more of a smooth ride than wheel tractors. Nothing wrong with wheel tractors. Our choice is more tracks. We have wheel tractors also, they serve a purpose. Coming over here, the, each one of these units, we call them row units, actually plants. So you have wheels here that actually press, or you are called gauge wheels, so they actually hold the depth, we set the depth, the seed has to be planted in a certain depth, just like you would in your garden. These actually pack it down, so you actually get good soil to seed contact. The seed is actually temporarily held in this little yellow tub here. If you look over in the back, the two big yellow tubs side by side is where we put our seed, and air blows that seed up to each one of these individual row units, and these individual row units then will put in the with a vacuum a suction on this other hose sucks it to a seed plate and we zoom in here side here is a seed plate will actually suck that will go away it'll drop down to a seed tube and then these back wheels will pack it in each we put we planted anywhere in corn from 32 to 40,000 seeds per acre and in soybeans, 125 to 200,000 seeds per acre, depending on soil cut type, moisture condition, uh, plant variety. All those things, what we do in the winter time is to try to determine where we're going to plant a certain variety that's going to yield the most and have the disease resistant packages that we need to raise. These tanks here that you see, these two little ones and the larger one in the middle, that is our liquid fertilizer tanks. And what they do is I take that similar fertilizer that you saw in the big sprayer. We take that and we pump that at five gallons per acre inside the furrow of the seed. We split it just beside the seed. And what that does, it gives that seed an instantaneous fertilizer when that little shoot goes into the ground and uses that to grow, get up out of the ground if it's cool, wet spring, um, even a nice hot spring. The faster we get that plant out of the ground, photosynthesis can take over and the plant can actually start to grow, increase our yield potential growing so no different than your house plant or your garden we do the same thing we just a, a bigger scale because we have just more acres to put it on um, same principle same thing that you do there and we'll start this here probably next week uh, the end of April sometime in that frame and like I said this will fold out and go 40 feet and we'll plant the corn thank you again for uh, another day on the farm and hopefully we'll see you again soon